This is Special Prosecutor Larry Clayman. I'm the only lawyer ever to obtain a court ruling that a president of the United States committed a crime. For truth. For competition. As a young lawyer, I helped break up AT&T. That's why you have all your cell phones today. For sovereignty. For the republic. I'm the guy who, at Judicial Watch, which I founded, uncovered the Chinagate scandal. Millions of dollars going to the Clinton campaign, corrupting our political system. For the privacy of citizens. And I'm the only guy to have enjoined the National Security Agency from mass surveillance on hundreds of millions of Americans. Tearing it up. I'm the son of meat packers in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. I know how to slice and dice. Bringing it back. We're going to take this country apart and put it back together again in the way envisioned by our founding fathers. It's not just talk. We're not just regurgitating news stories. Larry Klayman, special prosecutor, is making the news. And now, here's Larry. Welcome to this week's edition of Special Prosecutor with Larry Klayman. We have another very important show. And it's very important for this reason. We've seen just in the last few weeks how our so-called Department of Justice has taken a dive. With regard to James Comey on two occasions, they've pushed off an investigation of Fusion GPS, Hillary Clinton, the whole rest of the criminals, to an individual up there in Connecticut by by the name of John Durham. Uh, You know, this is typical. I've seen this now for 25 years. I've been predicting this time in and time out. We, the people, need to rise up. We, the people, cannot can no longer be sunshine patriots. We can't be couch potatoes. We can't tune in to Fox News every night, eating popcorn, enjoying the latest so-called breaking developments, major developments on Hannity, which are, of course, not major developments at all. It's to boost ratings, advertising dollars, and to promote Fox News. We ourselves need to do it for ourselves. We, the people, need to rise up. And that's why my column this week, I want you to read it carefully on worldnetdaily.com, WND.com. It's also posted on our website at freedomwatchusa.org. Talks about why we have to sue baby Sue. You know, I'm not talking about baby Sue. I'm talking about lawsuits. You remember the expression of Sarah Palin, drill baby drill with regard to oil in Alaska and the Arctic and otherwise. Well, it's sue baby Sue because I've had no choice on behalf of you, the American people, on behalf of the vision of our founding fathers, and to preserve that vision and the creation, this great creation of liberty and justice for all that we supposedly had in the days after the Declaration of Independence was signed in my birthplace of Philadelphia and our victory in the Revolutionary War. We cannot let that go for naught. We cannot let it slip away. We cannot be complacent. We have to rise up. So read that column. I quote the famous writer Thomas Paine in Revolutionary Days, about not being sunshine patriots, not being summer soldiers, but that those who actually take on the fight, however difficult that fight is, will have a much sweeter, glorious victory once they win. And we will win because we also have God behind us. We know that. Otherwise, we wouldn't be a nation. Our best ally in the world, Israel, knows that. For 6,000 years, the Arabs have been trying to destroy Israel, the Muslims, the The Palestinians now in the modern day, Hezbollah, Hamas, they can't do it because, you see, we have the true God on our side. We don't have Allah, a false God. We have the God of Isaac and Abraham. We have the God and the father of our Savior, Jesus Christ, and he will not forsake us, but he's not going to sit back and watch us do nothing and just sit on the couch watching Sean Hannity and company on Fox News. And that's my segue, because this week we've learned that Fox News, under new leadership, Lachlan Murdoch, who's a leftist, that's the son of Rupert Murdoch, he now runs it out of Los Angeles, California, at Century City. He has moved this network to the left. It's moving steadily to the left. He never liked the way Roger Ailes uh, was running the network with all of Ailes's problems and harassing and destroying my client, Laura Loon, with heinous sexual, psychological, and physical misconduct, and we have a lawsuit about that against Suzanne Scott, the current head of Fox News. They put her in as a woman as cover after Ailes was forced to resign. Also, she knew all about the sexual abuse that was going on at Fox and continues to lie about it, which in effect defames my client, Laurie Loon, who has PTSD, who has thought of committing suicide with the uh, treatment that she because they weren't compensating Laurie Loon for 
uh, her services, and we resolved the case amicably. But in any event, uh, this is Fox News today. So we learned this week that Janine Pirro has been banned from Newsmax. Uh, she can no longer appear. She can't try to sell her book on that network, presumably other so-called conservative networks. And here's the irony, is that Chris Ruddy, who I considered a friend, he's the owner of Newsmax, who claims to be a close friend of the president, that network was never even really conservative to begin with. Ruddy had donated a million dollars to the Clintons years ago to the Clinton Foundation. Uh, I know from my column that I write, I used to write for my blog on Newsmax, Claimants Court, that I say about two thirds to three fourths of the time, it was being censored. And I couldn't say what I wanted to say. So when I wanted to write a column that was a strong column, I would have it posted and published on worldnetdaily.com. Joseph Farrow used to be Ruddy's partner. They split apart years ago. Farrow went by way of establishing worldnetdaily.com, WNDD.com, and Ruddy Newsmax. Now, Ruddy now seen the opportunity here because, you see, the president's been very critical of Fox. In fact, he said rather than watching Shepard Smith, he'd rather watch even CNN. Shepard Smith is very leftist. Uh, and there's a bunch of others over there, like Chris Wallace and and Judge Napolitano, who has turned left. He, I think he's angry that Trump never appointed him attorney general or to the Supreme Court or wherever. But it's it's moving far left. And the president has been critical of Fox. And, and now we find out that Fox is actually banning people from going on other networks. But the irony here is, is that Newsmax was never terribly conservative. They played both sides of the street. Now Ruddy, in an article this week, written by the Daily Beast and others, has said that he's moving right. Well, I'm glad to see that, Chris. It's time that you saw what the market is. It's time that there were competitors to Fox News, although I doubt seriously that Newsmax will become a serious pe competitor because of the fact that it tries to cater to all sides. Well, that's fine. If that's what you want to do, fine. But you're not a conservative network. And I would wanted people to know because I've actually myself been banned from Newsmax. In the last several weeks and, and months, I've appeared maybe once or twice. And the reason for that is that I was defamed, and so was my client, Dr. Jerry Corsi, by Roger Stone. Roger Stone, who feared the testimony of Corsi, the truthful testimony with regard to his prosecution. And Dr. Corsi has said that he'll testify truthfully if called as a witness. We were attacked. We were defamed. And I had to bring a lawsuit, several of them, against Roger Stone. Roger Stone is not the person that he appears to be, uh, and he's fearful of anyone who might come in front of that court to tell the truth. Now, of course, he you know, does not volunteer to do that, but if subpoenaed, he said he'll testify truthfully as to what occurred, and he wishes Roger Stone no harm. He's never said anything negative about him, neither did I, until, in fact, we were defamed, and that was only through lawsuits. <laughs> but because of <clears throat> Stone's close relationship with the present past relationship, I, I believe that I've been discriminated against by Ruddy and Newsmax and actually brought a case over that, not against Newsmax, but against Stone because of the fact that uh, Ruddy fears that Stone could shut him off from communicating with uh, the president. And, you know, this is the real world that we live in. And it's why we need other conservative networks. We need to support Sinclair. We need to support One America News, which the president now is talking about. We need to support what I do on our YouTube channel, Freedom Watch YouTube channel, what I do in terms of publishing articles on WND.com and elsewhere. I won't even send another article to Newsmax anymore. I don't waste my time. But we need to stand up. We need to be not sunshine patriots and summer soldiers, but we need to get up off the couch put the popcorn down and join groups like Freedom Watch, join our Justice League at freedomwatchusa.org, enlist in the equivalent, the modern day equivalent of a colonial army. And that's why I'm bringing on today two very brave clients who have been also banned from Fox News and, and, uh, and Laura Loomer, who can't get on Newsmax either, because these people put their money where their mouth is. They're brave. They're heroic. They lay it all on the line. They say the truth. They don't hold back. They're not trying to couch it like my former colleague, Tom Fitton, who tries to just get documents mostly, go on and stay politically correct 
so he can raise money for Judicial Watch, which now has close to $20 million in net assets. That's not what we're all about. It's not about making money. It's not about, about you know, it's about saving our country. Our founding fathers said that they pledged their fortunes to form a new nation. They risked their fortunes. They were all wealthy landowners. Uh, they were millionaires in their own time. But they laid all that in the, on the line to form a new nation and to form freedom and liberty for future Americans. And that's why the clients of Freedom Watch and Larry Klayman privately in my private capacity, like Clive and Bundy, like Chief Justice Roy Moore, like the family victims of Extortion 17, of Benghazi, all these people and their lives and their reputations to try to save this country. They need your support. And that's why go to freedomwatchusa.org. Join our Justice League. Go to Clive and Bundy Defense Fund.org and support his defense. The government under the deep state at the Justice Department is still trying to retry him and have him convicted and sentenced for life with his sons and the other defendants. Support Corsi Legal Defense Fund.com. It's Clive and Bundy Defense Fund.org, but Corsi Legal Defense Fund. Dot com, because these are our true patriots. These are the people that are trying to save the republic, and they need your help, and we need to rise up. I'm going to be back with Laura Loomer. We're going to talk about the current developments with Ilham Omar and Rashida Tlaib. In my personal capacity, I've endorsed her as a House of Representatives candidate in Palm Beach County. And I would like you, as I say personally, because I don't do this as part of the public interest group, I want you to help her because she is a patriot. We need someone there sitting next to Ilham Omar and Rashida Tlaib that can keep them in check. I'll be right back with Laura Loomer on the second segment of Special Prosecutor with Larry Klayman. Special Prosecutor, Very bad. Larry Clayman. If you'd like to support Freedom Watch and this radio show, go to freedomwatchusa.org. I'm back with Laura Loomer, my friend, my client, a true American patriot, someone who lays it all on the line for you, the American people. She's running for the U.S. Congress in Palm Beach County. I hope that you'll support her at the end of this segment. She's going to give her coordinates. I tell you that in my personal capacity. I've endorsed her. I support her. But I, I want to get her take Right now, having sued Rashida Tlaib recently for comments that she made about her and also for attacking her physically at an event in Minnesota years ago where Ilham Omar was also present, a political event. And you can see that at freedomwatchusa.org, the video of that. And you can also see it on Laura's websites and YouTubes. But Laura, what's your take on the recent decision by a U.S. federal court judge by the way, a W appointee, believe it or not, who now has enjoined the government from having a terrorist watch list. Now, granted, that can be abused. I agree. I mean, we know the NSA abuses mass surveillance, the CIA, the FBI. People can get on that list. I've had clients that don't deserve to be on the list that prevented them from traveling and, in fact, having a firearm and that kind of thing. But the comments of of Ilham Omar are particularly interesting because she's rejoicing at this. It's almost as if this is a green light to have more terrorists come into this country and to do us harm. Let me get your take on this, because you are an expert on Ilham Omar, contrary to others, such as Tom Fitton and Judicial Watch, who came lately and are trying to claim credit for things that you have uncovered and done. Yeah, well, thanks for having me, Larry. You know, this is very concerning because uh, the group that actually sued uh, to get this ruling to uh, to rule the unconstitutionality or supposed unconstitutionality of the U.S. terror watch list is CARE, the Council on American Islamic Relations. And so essentially a U.S. federal judge uh, ruled in favor of a designated Islamic terrorist organization that federal judges found to have ties to Hamas. And I find this to be extremely alarming because the only reason why CARE 
is so adamant about getting rid of this terror watch list is because they probably have associates and former colleagues and employees and friends and donors who are actually on that list for good reason. I mean, if you look at some of the founding members of CARE and you look at some of the people who they've employed or have been associated with or who have aided, many of these individuals have ties to terrorism. In fact, uh, Hassan Shibley, the director of CARE Florida, who is the, you know, the lawyer who is championing this cause and mentioned in all of the press releases yesterday uh, following the announcement, he is currently suing the governments of this country and the Trump administration to allow for Hoda Muthana, the ISIS bride, to come back into the United States of America, even though she burned her passport and posted on social media about her desires to kill innocent Americans and watch the United States burn in acts of Islamic Jihad. All right, this is the kind of guy who, you know, is, is advocating for this. So he would probably also say that Hoda Muthana doesn't deserve to be on the U.S. terror watch list a self-admitted and described ISIS terrorist, okay? So uh, I find it to be extremely alarming. Um, and just one day, right, this happened yesterday, just one day after this announcement, I saw today, and there's a report at lauralumer.us, and you can see for yourself, a Muslim airline worker working for American Airlines at Miami International Airport was arrested and has since been charged. His name is Abdul Majid Maruf Ahmed Alani. And it says he, a veteran employee is charged with willfully damaging, destroying, or disabling an aircraft after he was arrested for tampering with the plane's air data, data module. And so there were 150 people on board this plane. And mind you, we are nearly uh, days away from the 18-year anniversary of 9-11 in which Muslims, right, and I say Muslims because it's important that nobody forgets that it was Muslims, Muslim terrorists, who hijacked planes and killed 3,000 innocent Americans on 9-11, the worst terrorist attack to take place on U.S. soil. Look, there, there's no denying that all of these acts, whether it's 9-11, the Fort Lauderdale shooting or uh, terrorist attack or this uh, newest incident at the Miami airport, all have ties to Florida. And, you know, I've been banned on every single social media platform, and I'm, I'm running for Congress in Florida District 21 so that what has happened to me doesn't happen to any other individual in my district or in this country. I want to make America safe again, and I want to protect Americans' First Amendment rights, which are currently under attack by big tech, who is aligning with groups like CARE, the same group pushing for the elimination of the U.S. terror watch list and the eradication of American Laura, patriots' First Amendment tell rights. people where they can reach you, because we're running out of time on this segment. I want them to know how they can reach you. You can uh, go to lauralumerforcongress.com and sign up to receive updates, and that's where you can donate to my campaign as well. Great. You are a true patriot. We'll have you back next week. We need an update on what's been going on in this area. Very important. God bless you. Thank you. Now, four words that make corrupt politicians make wee-wee in their little pants. Transparency and the rule of law will be the touchstones of this president. But we have to pass the bill so that you can uh, find out what is in it. Special Prosecutor, Larry Klayman. Be the one who makes our country great again. Go to FreedomWatchUSA.org and donate. I'm back with another brave patriot, also my friend, someone who I've known for a long time, a really courageous soul by the name of Sheriff Joe Arpaio, America's sheriff and America's toughest sheriff, someone who laid his reputation and his life on the line for the American people, did it over many, many years when he was a high official with the Drug Enforcement Administration, when he was sheriff of Maricopa County. He's running again for sheriff. Thank God we need somebody like that in there, particularly in these dire times. And he's courageous. He's 87 years old, but he looks like he's only about 65. Looks younger than I do. And he's got a lot of energy and he never quits. He's like the Energizer Bunny. And we've got matters up in the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals right now where he's seeking to vacate a very unjust finding with regard to profiling allegedly, allegedly illegal aliens. And he's also someone who has stuck his neck out in other causes. I mean, he investigated the birth certificate of Obama, which wasn't popular. He never said Obama was born in Kenya. He said the birth certificate was fraudulent, which it is. I mean, everybody knows that it's fraudulent. Obama knows it's fraudulent or he wouldn't put an 
a phony birth certificate up on the White House website. And just as one example of many, uh, it, it says African-American. They didn't use the term then in Hawaii. It was black or Negro. OK, and, you know, but that's neither here nor there. I want the sheriff to explain why it is he's running again for sheriff and why we need him, which we clearly do as a patriot that's going to enforce the rule of law, our Constitution, and preserve the creation of our founding fathers. Sheriff? Well, thank you, Larry. Thanks for those uh, nice comments. And I have to uh, go back and talk about you just for a second, that uh, you have the courage and the guts to fight cases that nobody will touch. And so we need someone like you uh, in the system, the criminal justice system. And I know you take heed, too. Uh, but thank you for what you're doing, not just for me, but for many people and for our country, because I know you're a patriot and uh, you don't do it for money. You do it for what's good for our country and also to defend those that have been uh, screwed and hate to use that word. But uh, you know what I'm talking about. I do. <laughs> more than more than anyone I know. And that's why uh, you know, I love you, Sheriff. And uh, we have to do everything we can. And I say this personally to support your candidacy to become sheriff again, right in the face of the, of the violent left. Uh, we need people like you. So anyway, uh, Sheriff, if you would let us know why you're running for sheriff, I'd really, really appreciate that because the American people need to know and they need to support you. Well, that's a tough question, quite frankly, Larry. Uh, really tough. Uh, you know, I did my 58 years for our country. I've been through a lot of heat. My wife, uh, 61 years, I talked to her. She's always supported me, and she supports me on this race. So uh, I don't have any personal problems. Uh, and even uh, personally, or to get back at people and all that, uh, I'm, I'm really sad on how some people conduct themselves. Uh, but it's not getting back for revenge. It's getting back to continue to do something for our country. I have a lot to offer. And, of course, I've been with the uh, president from day one. I'm not a flip-flopper. And I'll be with him to the end. Love what he's doing. Love the guy. And uh, maybe if we can, we're both going to win. And we can work together uh, in that criminal justice system uh, and for me, it's more important having a gun and badge back than being a private citizen, which, you know, I, I've been speaking out even as a private citizen. But uh, so that's the main reason I want to get back and, you know, defend the people of this country. And, and I say country, of course, I mean county, too. But don't forget all the illegal immigration, the drugs are coming through my county. And, of course, you know my background all over the world, fighting drugs and, and then illegal immigration. So when I'm doing this, I think I'm doing something for our country, too, because most of the stuff goes through Maricopa County and heads everywhere else in, our, in the United States. So, uh, And also it's a foreign problem, too, international problem. And as you know, I have those experiences as a top guy in Mexico, South America, Turkey, and everything else. I look at my background that is diverse, uh, even going back when I started my career in law enforcement. I walked to Blackbeat in D.C., so I started from the streets, and here I am uh, today. So you can have all the degrees you want, Larry, but I still believe that life experience and common sense means a lot, no matter what occupation you're in. You ha your mind is like a computer in some ways, but it's more subtle than a computer. It's subjective in that we benefit from our life's experiences. When certain facts line up, you're able to come to a quicker conclusion and quicker action once you have experience. And that's why, you know, the Chinese are not stupid. Whatever our problems with China is that most of their leaders are in their 80s and 90s because they don't want kids running that country. They want people with experience. And that's why we need people like you running Maricopa County. Now, tell us, you know, what has been going on in the last few years since you haven't been sheriff 
and why you want to reclaim that post. I mean, what the person who's now occupying that post has or has not done that requires a sheriff, Joe Arpaio, to take the helm. You know, I'm not going to talk about that guy. Uh, he's George Soros. Uh, you, you, you know, he, Soros what, pumped in three million, including uh, a law firm that's is really connected with me and involves the president too, Perkins Coy, whatever the name is. But uh, this is something, Larry, that uh, I look back at, and you have more experience than I do with federal judges. Although I've been my whole career before federal judges, but never saw a judge with such hatred uh, against me. And I'm not going to get into all the proof of that. Uh, But that's not, I I, I don't want to be vindictive that the guy that's uh, running the office now, uh, he's had a honeymoon for three years. Usually you get six month honeymoon. This guy, the media refuses to go in there and see what he's doing. The theory being that if they badmouth him, it makes me look good. So even the fake news media has ways of getting to you, even though they avoid, try to avoid you too. So, uh, so there's no illegal immigration enforcement anymore, no drugs anymore, uh, and it's a disaster. But that that's not the real reason that I want to go back. I want to go back to continue of what I've been doing and to continue to fight. And uh, so, you know, he's there by uh, by a quirk of fate, but it shows you the corruption <clears throat> among many people, could be polit- political people too, Larry. So... Um, that my cell just went off, my flip flopper singing uh, my way. But, but anyway, yeah, that's, so, that's appropriate. Uh, so that's uh, what I'm doing. I'm, I'm just doing it. Let me turn this off, Larry. You get a little music in here. Yeah, that's your good. Show. Yeah. So um, you're a fighter, <clears throat> I'm a fighter. And I want it once again, you've handled some of. My cases, the, especially the uh, civil lawsuits against certain media, and uh, and with your support uh, throughout the years, giving me the uh, you know building up my morale and knowing somebody's there if I have some trouble I can go to, which you can't find lawyers normally to go against federal judges. And if they do, they sure don't put their heart in it. You know why? Uh, and so, uh, I don't know. You ask me why I'm doing it. Well, basically, I'm doing it to get back to where I was, continue to fight uh, for our country and our people of uh, Arizona and uh, help the president. And that's my main mission. Where can people go uh, to support you, Sheriff? When you run for office, you always have to raise money. This guy uh, before me that's in office got, what, three million bucks from Soros? That's ridiculous. So I, I now I have to get in there, raise money again. So I have a web, it's arpaio4sheriff.com. And uh, I expect to raise money. I'm pretty good at raising money, but now I need it even more so because I'll tell you, Larry, you know it. There's a lot of people that don't want me to go back. If you thought it was tough being defeated uh, after seven elections, you think they want me back? They don't want me back with a gun and badge. Mm -hmm. When I say and not only that, as the supporter of the president, they use you and others, many of my other clients, me, as the whipping boy to try to get to the president. They make false claims about, you know, being birthers that, you know, we had no basis to say that Obama's birth certificate was fraudulent. They make claims about court rulings, which are completely false, where I brought lawsuits against CNN his primetime host, Chris, Chris Cuomo, its CEO, Jeff Zucker, Huffington Post, Rolling Stone, New York Times. There's going to be others coming down the line. 
you know, and, and basically the left is so vicious that I've reached the point where, you know, if they open their mouth and they say something which is defamatory and wrong, they get sued. They have to know that we're going to do it. There's going to be a consequence. And this is the only avenue that we have short of taking to the streets like Antifa, which we're not going to do, you know, and others, Black Lives Matter, uh, these other uh, crazy revolutionary groups, is that this is the only choice we have. Now, you're going to do it with regard to enforcement, not just of illegal immigration, but other laws in one of the largest counties of the United States, Maricopa County, maybe the largest county uh, in terms of area of mass. And you're going to do it because it's coming from your heart, because you're not a sunshine patriot. You're not a summer soldier. And I'm happy to have many of them as my clients. And, and you are the, the premier person uh, who does that. So well, you I know, want to make I don't that like very, very clear. Sue, Larry, they all sue me for a Mickey Mouse. Uh, there was another hit piece that I, uh, 2,000 lawsuits. I think that was one class action. They didn't like the food. But you know how the media, they twist everything apart. But I'm used to that. You're used to that. But right now, I'm a little concerned about being called a convicted felon. Uh, it's pretty serious. You know what I'm talking That can keep you from getting jobs. Look at the word felon and see what that means when you try to find a job or your reputation. That takes you into another, you know, elevates you to something they, else. That, no, they, they do, Sheriff. And in fact, the people that do that know because they're in the know. They're in the news. They follow you. You're in the news frequently. You just got 16 million hits when you announced to be sheriff again. They, they know that's wrong and that you're not a felon, but they'll do that to try to hurt you. Anyway, uh, we've run out of time. I'm going to have you back again shortly, but keep the faith, keep the courage, and and I know that you'll be Sheriff Joe Arpaio, which is something very, very special, which the American people need to support. So God bless you and your family, well, my good friend. Same to you and your family, and uh, thanks for all your help, Larry. You're welcome, Sheriff. Before he was a trial lawyer, he sliced him and diced him. People used to ask me, Larry, what caused you to start Judicial Watch and now Freedom Watch, given the powerful forces in this country that put you at risk? In a meat packing plant. I'm the son of meat packers in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. I know how to slice and dice. A very special prosecutor, Larry Clayman. If you'd like to support Freedom Watch and this radio show, go to freedomwatchusa.org. Now the verdict. Patriots, friends, supporters. The verdict is, is that people like Laura Bloomer, Sheriff Joe Arpaio, Chief Justice Roy Moore, the families of the victims of Extortion 17, and a host of others are people that need to be supported. And of course, the Bundy family, I mean, who fought the law, quote unquote, not the law, and they won. How the West was won again. This land is our land. It does not belong to the tyranny of the federal government that wants to seize it because they want to use that against us, either sell it off like Harry Reid tried to do, as reported to the communist Chinese. Obviously, you know, one could assume that he's getting kickbacks. We are talking about Las Vegas, Nevada, after all, and his mafia connections. But we have to do this for ourselves. And that's why it's important that you support our clients, that you support freedomwatchusa.org, that you contribute to these private legal defense funds, Cliven Bundy Defense Fund.org, Corsi Legal Defense Fund.com. Why I can say in my personal capacity, not in a public interest capacity, you know, support Sheriff Jar Arpaio and Laura Loomer for office because there are no people in Congress right now who do anything other than pay lip service. Even the ones that you see sometimes on cable news, it's lip service. They're not doing anything. I mean, they're, it's self aggrandizement. Uh, Devin Nunes, congressman, ranking member of the House Intelligence Committee, brings these lawsuits which have no basis to win. I mean, yesterday he brings one, you know, over Fusion GPS. He has no standing to sue Fusion GPS. It, it's, it's simply a fundraising gambit. But we are doing things which are intended to win, which are intended to prevail. We don't always win because we get leftist judges, we get judges that try to cook the books, so to speak. But, you know, if we win, 
even one out of 10, it's like a MERV missile, then that's a lot. Like we defeated the NSA with illegal mass surveillance. We killed Joe Arpaio, sheriff was my client. We killed Obama's illegal amnesty. We, I, in my personal capacity, successfully kept Dr. Drum, of course he was being indicted, from being indicted from special counsel Robert Mueller and his corrupt prosecutors. I can go on and on. And that's why we need your support. But we also need real conservative media. And I hope that Chris Ruddy is sincere in saying that he wants to occupy space that's being left behind by the increasingly leftist and anti-Trump Fox News. Now, I'm skeptical of that. I think that the network that really can come forward here is Sinclair. They have the resources to do that. Uh, they're on a lot of local stations. They reach more people in one day than Fox reaches in an entire week. Uh, one American News, they're up and coming. And I hope that Chris Fuddy, Cruddy, Ruddy, not Cruddy, has had a, an epiphany, realizing that there is a market there. But he's played both sides of the street in the past. He's not allowed me to say what I think. And frankly, I've been kept off the network because we had to take legal action, regrettably, against Roger Stone. He doesn't want to lose his entree into Trump. He won't, won't lose it because, frankly, Trump should jettison Roger Stone in the future and people like that because he needs to succeed on behalf of the American people right now. And we are in a crisis. And that is why we need your support. Read the World Net Col Daily column that I'm writing tonight, WND.com. It'll be posted at freedomwatchusa.org. Share this radio show to everyone. We're now up to 55 stations nationwide and growing quickly because, you see, I tell the truth. I don't care what people think. I have to tell what Larry Klayman really thinks. And the reality is, that we have become a reality show. The people are tired of turning on Fox News and watching these false promises of justice to boost ratings and advertising dollars. I am sick to my stomach doing it. Frankly, I've been watching the Golf Channel and Sinclair's Tennis Channel during the U.S. Open because I just can't listen to it anymore. It's more than throwing up. I have a nervous reaction. So please share this radio show with everybody you can. Like Thomas Paine, who I quote in my article that will be up tonight, we cannot be summer patriots and sunshine soldiers, or is it the reverse? And that which, that which is difficult becomes all the more glorious when we with Jesus Christ. I'm coming to you from Radio America, a great network that also lets me tell the truth. I look forward to hearing from you and getting back to you next week with our next edition of Special Prosecutor with Larry Klayman. Until then, God bless you. God bless your family, God bless America, and most of all, God save America. O'Reilly Auto Parts offers O Rewards points in store and online. Earn points on everything from replacement parts to tools and accessories. And for every 150 points collected, you'll get a $5 reward. Earn points any way you shop. O'Reilly Auto Parts. Better parts, better prices every day. O, 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 O'Reilly Auto Parts. 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 Parts.